We're back in Germany, a country synonymous with engineering and technical innovation in multiple sectors, including cars, cameras, and also home to one of my favorite products, the Leica. What's going on everyone? It's Justin here and it is a cold day in Wetzlar, Germany and we're here at the Leica headquarters. I'm so excited to be able to go inside and show you guys the history of Leica as well as parts of the production facility, the museum, and just learning everything about the archives of this historic company because we've been using the Leica Q2 around the world in our crazy itinerary capturing all these moments that you guys have seen over on Instagram and we're also here with Xiaomi with their brand new flagship 13 Pro smartphone that has a strategic partnership with Leica from an imaging standpoint that brings you excellent image quality when it comes to smartphone photography, which is something that is obviously a very important part of smartphone technology today. What really stands out to me is just how all these elements come together while preserving the rich history in these products that we know and love. So the two cameras that I'm using from Leica at the moment is the Q2 as well as the SL2S. The Q2 is the one that I initially picked up to bring around the world to capture photos throughout all of our trips. As you guys know from our Instagram, I travel a ton and a lot of times I get questions as to which camera I'm using because the colors just look incredible. And the Q2 has has been my go-to photo camera over the years because it is just so easy to use. Video of course is usually our first priority so I wanted a camera that was relatively compact but at the same time the fixed focal length just makes it a lot of fun and it encourages you to get a bit creative with your angles instead of always having the luxury of being able to zoom in and reframe your shot in different ways. And the other camera that I picked up recently is a Leica SL2S. It is just so incredible to be able to add this to my Leica lineup after loving the Q2 for so many years because there's of course the interchangeable lens setup. The 24 to 70 is the one that I went with but the 24 to 90 is also a great lens. I really want to pick up the wide angle one as well but Having a camera that specifically specializes in low light performance is really important as an addition to my lineup, but also for like tech and car photography, having that interchangeable lens setup is still important. But for like the casual photos that you guys see on my Instagram and most of the ones that I post, it actually all comes from the Q2. And as someone who has used the Fujis, as well as many different cameras from Canon and Sony over the years, this continues to be my favorite one. Leica is obviously a company that is so rich in history and today we're gonna be learning all about it, so let's go. So just an hour outside of Europe's main hub, Frankfurt, you arrive at the quiet town of Wetzlar with fields behind it, and this is where Lights Park, the origination of Leica, was founded. Leica cameras are famously loved around the world. And as we walked up the steps of the facility, we're greeted with the hall of all of the historic moments of Leica and some of the images that were captured in important moments of time in the world. Seeing some of the initial prototypes and cameras from the 19th century, backdrop by the factory itself, the meticulous detail that goes into the construction of these cameras still maintains the craftsmanship and low volume that Leica is known for. Optical detail and precision while maintaining character and imagery with innovative color science and perhaps what I like most about Leica is through all the factory tours that I've been to, we've seen the evolution of products from the original design to the cutting edge style changes in industrial design over the years. But Leica has actually preserved the same design identity as some of their original cameras from over a hundred years ago. With premium metal materials, sharp edges, leather wrappings, and limited edition models, these cameras feature some of the latest and greatest sensor technologies with analog optical coatings, that really blend the best of both worlds. But as we went to the museum after, we are also able to see some of the first cameras in the world, which was incredible. With film being such a popular trend lately, it is cool to see the roots of film photography and the manual methods of capturing moments that people are still enjoying today. I always love seeing the cross-section of cameras, as well as the evolution in design from compact cameras to the ones that may have expanded in size to be able to reach new heights of imagery, to then going back to compact cameras again, depending on how the market trends and imaging technology progressed. Every single original lens and camera that Leica has ever made in its history was housed here, and we also had the opportunity to step through the archives after visiting the factory floor. 
All these different elements are carefully preserved and presented, including original drawings from the 1920s. That, as we talked about earlier, have a lot of similarities to the current models of Leica cameras. And every piece of documentation, including serial numbers and camera information, has been carefully preserved in this room. Cameras like the Leica S1 were an example of stepping aside on different design elements in the early days of digital cameras. But behind us, we see the early days of Leica before cameras, and that was microscopes. Some of these original lenses and optics are stuff that I could talk about all day, but the historian explained to us in detail what each camera meant and also some of his favorites. We also got to see one of the first images captured in the town of Wetzlar before visiting it in person. In the 30 minutes that we had before heading off to the next destination, there's quite a bit of snowfall as the locals shopped at the nearby market, which made this visit so much more magical. We captured some of these moments using the Xiaomi 13 Pro smartphone with Leica technologies, and you're going to see some of the unedited samples coming from the smartphone in some of the different picture profiles. So before we move on, I want to give a huge thanks to the sponsor of this video, Zayun, and their Weeble 3S gimbal. You guys are watching a travel film right now, and you guys know that travel is a big part of the content on the channel. And one piece of equipment that has been in our bag over the last year or so, especially, has been the Weeble lineup from Zayun, which has been a really good and smooth portable gimbal for our camera setup, which is the Sony FX3. This right here is their brand new Weeble 3S gimbal. It is a model that has a lot of great improvements while carrying over some of the best characteristics from the previous generation while coming in at $319. It is literally the perfect setup for anyone who has a mirrorless camera and it gets us that professional look with a relatively portable setup that fits in a suitcase and carry-on. Some of the initial improvements to this year's model is that it has Bluetooth. So you can connect wirelessly for shutter control and start slash stop recording right from the gimbal itself. But the second feature, which will actually be the most important for some, is the fact that you can also easily switch between vertical and horizontal placement thanks to its new quick release plate. There's also the new Sling Mode 2.5 with the side handle that allows for rotation, making it easy to switch between a two-sided handle grip and a suitcase grip for lower shots. The updated wrist pad on the Weeble 3S can also be adjusted in many ways, which saves energy and puts less strain on the wrist, allowing you to get a wider variety of angles. We also have a battery life of 11 and a half hours, and there's also a fast charging option. So being able to use it throughout an entire four to five day trip has been great. The Weeble 3S also features a 1000 lumen fill light that is 90 plus CRI and allows you to change the color temperature, which is great for anyone needing that extra bit of light, especially in darker situations. But overall, if you're looking for an incredible gimbal, this is literally the model that we use. So if you're just gonna go check it out for yourself, I'm gonna drop a link down below. And a huge thanks to Zion once again for sponsoring this video. We're also here to talk about Xiaomi and their strategic imaging partnership with Leica on their flagship lineup of the 13 smartphone. And right here I have the Xiaomi 13 Pro. This features a pro grade triple camera setup that features a 50 megapixel resolution across the board with the main sensor being one inch in size. This is gonna let in a ton of light, get you great details, but of course, when you talk about Leica, you also have to attribute the color characteristic that comes along with that, that Leica users know and love and they have perfected over the years. This smartphone features two photographic styles that have been tuned with Leica, including both a natural mode and a vibrant mode. Whether you want more of like a natural look or one that really does pop out, what you can ensure you're going to get with this camera is incredible dynamic range. And that is something that I've noticed through the image samples that have captured so far on this European trip. So this is really exciting. The combination of having large sensors in smartphones nowadays with photographic styles that are seen in strategic partnerships with companies such as Leica in the smartphone industry just makes it very exciting as to what we continue to expect in the future. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and our tour of the Leica Park in Wetzlar, Germany. And as I've said before, this is our favorite type of videos to make, to be able to tour these facilities as these brands have given us incredible access to learn more about our products and tell you guys, the consumer and the audience as tech enthusiasts and camera enthusiasts about the behind the scenes process of such an incredible brand. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead and drop a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all in the next one. But it is super cold out here, so we're gonna head inside now.